Today we're going to look at the performance of two ads we have running in an experiment. This experiment has gathered enough data for us to determine a winning and losing ad, and we're going to go over and look at the metrics we use to evaluate the performance. The AdOptic system does this automatically for us, but it's better to understand what's going on behind the scenes so you could help make more informed decisions. So this ad group is sell pictures. We're targeting people who are uh, looking to sell photos online. And here we have the two ads. The winning ad is shown on the left and the losing ad is shown on the right. They're very similar. The headline one um, is different in only one word, sell pictures online versus sell your pictures online. We are testing two elements here. Uh, typically we only test one element at a time in an experiment, but the headline two is also changed with a number one picture selling service versus just picture selling service. The descriptions are uh, the same and the um, URLs, display URLs are also the same. To compare the performance of two ads, we use the metric conversions per thousand impressions. This metric allows us to see which version of the ad copy provides the best performance. Using any other kind of performance metric, such as conversions, is not really a great idea because uh, it varies with the number of impressions you get uh, for the ad to have been shown on the Google auction. So uh, by equalizing them based on uh, per thousand impressions, you're able to make a one-to-one -one comparison. In this test, we see that ad B, the winning ad, has a conversion per thousand impression rate of 34 conversions per thousand impressions. The losing ad is only 17 conversions per thousand impressions. In this particular example, click-through rate is also higher significantly from ad B to ad A. Impressions in this experiment are relatively equal at 322 versus 349. If we go down, we see conversions are indeed higher at 11 versus 6 in this situation. But again, if impressions were not the same, um, these values would be very tough to compare directly without uh, equating them on per thousand basis. We are also passing in for this experiment the value per conversion that we're getting from each sale uh, in our conversion. So the value for ad B is $58 versus $21 for ad A. And we could do similarly to the conversion per thousand impression, we could do value per thousand impression. And we also see that profit per thousand impression of ad B is 180 versus profit per thousand impression of ad A being only 60. So in this situation, we have a clear winner in ad B. And at the top of the page, we see our conversion per thousand um, impressions improvement is a whopping 98%. Our click-through rate is also an improvement at 61%. And we're 92% confident that this um, decision or this test has reached statistical significance and we've been running this test for 22 days. So in this situation, it's best we're going to pause ad A, let ad B continue to run, and then we're going to repeat this experiment. Again, we'll probably only change one ad element going forward, but the system allows us to automate this entire process. So once we pause the losing ad, ad A will be paused at Google, ad B will be continued to run, and we'll be prompted automatically to create a new ad test to create another variant of this ad for another experiment. I hope that helps and execute pause losing ad.